Hello, this is Jill from Jilbert's Bits and Bites, and I'm just doing a quick little video here to show you uh, my painted dynamic brushes and how they can be used along with my stencilit brushes to create some of your unique papers. Anyway, to get started, I want to have a new canvas. Um, as you can see, it's I've already done a pre thing here I've, it's for a scrapbook page, 3600 by 3600. And before I get started, I'm going to add myself another layer to start painting on and then of course I have to pick my foreground my background colors so let's see how wild do we want to go bright oh, that's a little too bright sorry about that um, and let's I don't know what do I want to do here orange ah, this is gonna be kinda of strange anyway okay and I'm gonna start off with my um, one of my paint it dynamic brushes. This one's out of uh, the, the number two pack. And just start going back and forth painting. I'm using my tablet. Ah, going a little bit wild. I don't know why. <laughs> and just keep going around. Now if you, you notice that if you want to change the color because sometimes you know you're going to have one more that's more predominant than the other just if you're on the tablet just lift up your pen and start over. Um, if you're on the mouse just lift up your finger off the mouse button. But as you can see that if I pick it up it starts going more towards either the background or the foreground color. Anyway whew, that's a pretty hot pink and yellow, orange, not yellow. Okay, so next I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of my stencilit brushes. And I'm, I've got one that's um, has a pattern. I'm going to pick it, it's, I'm going to use the medium density. Um, anyway, because it's a good medium. Uh, pick a color, pick a color, pick a color. Hmm. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to use white and you can see why this, it's more visible. But then I'm just going to start painting along the border. Now if I wanted this to fill in a little more, let's zoom in so you can see. It looks, you know, this is supposed to be like you've got a uh, stencil and you're using um, the spray ink with the stencil and that's what this is supposed to be replicating. So oh, I've got that one there. Let's pick another one brush. This is another one. That must be the heavy one. Anyway, I've got, you know, like I've been doing, I've got four packs. Oops, what did I do there? That's not the one I wanted to use. They're all kind of different here. Anyway, that gives me a border with, you know, some interest to it. Anyway, now what I can do is I can go in and I can put a style on it. I can change the uh, opacity, make it lighter. Um, I can play with the blend mode. What's Color Dodge going to do? Probably nothing. Um, so that one's a soft light. I kind of like how that is because it's picking up my colors um, in the background, but it still has a pattern to it. Anyway, Real quick, easy tip. This is how you can use the two brushes, dynamic brush styles together to create unique papers. 